Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises and all glory to the true and living power, which is Yahweh Ba'ashim Al-Washai, Ba'ashim Rakak Wadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the true name of His only begotten Son. There is no God beside them. And I want to give the honors to the Apostles and others of Great Millstone, definitely rule well, taught us 100% truth of the Scriptures, and honors and citations to the elect document doing these works, sincerity and the truth. I want to do a real quick know spiritual two cents spiritual land back off of um the beloved apostle Ariam Lob the lesson he did uh entitled uh can't say you wasn't warned along those lines very beautiful lesson yo and I haven't even finished it definitely gonna go back and finish it Lil Wally definitely and Yeah, man, it just, um, like I said, man, seriously beautiful lesson. The realization of what we're involved in. So, you know, the first scripture what I want to get, you know, going to tell you, you can't say you wasn't warned. This is what we have all this time for. Let me get that, actually. Started off with that. Second Edges, the 16th chapter. 43. This is what all this time here is for, man. Second Edges, 16 and 40. All my people, hear my word. Make you ready to thy battle. And in those evils, be even as pilgrims upon the earth. So the whole point is making ourselves ready. Making ourselves ready. This is 1 Corinthians 7 and 35. And this I speak for your own profit, not that I may cast a snare upon you, but for that which is comely, here's the point, and that ye may attend upon the Lord without distraction. See? So we are to serve Yahweh Shai without distraction. And that'll make us ready. Not just for when all hell break loose but it will make us ready for when we go through these different trials and tribulations as the apostle was getting into this is what this whole time period is is for man to get rooted and built in the spirit each day is precious I, I was just listening to a song actually and he, he said something like that like each like we ain't got like you don't got no time to waste and mind you he's not even talking about the coming uh, the great coming day of the lord as the scriptures say you know he's talking about something carnal so how much more in the spirit and let me get one more one more scripture real quick before i get to you know my main my main uh, scripture that i want to get into uh luke chapter uh six verses um Verses uh, 46. And why call ye me Lord, Lord, and do not the things which I say? Whosoever cometh to me and heareth my sayings and doeth them. See, so we have to be doers of the word, not hearers only. Deceiving your own selves. If you if you think you're just going to be a hearer only. The Lord is about, you know, action, man. It says, I will show you to whom he is like. He is like a man which built a house. And dig deep and laid the foundation on a rock. See, so we in the process of digging deep, man. Building that house. Why? It says that when the flood arose, the stream beat vehemently upon that house and could not shake it, for it was founded upon a rock. So we're build, building that house. Knowing the area that we're building it in. See, like you may live in a Florida or something, so you know that if you build a house across, across that coastal line, you know you gotta build it. Serious. Because you know that that's a high hurricane area. So you can't be neglectful. You can't be careless, you can't be lazy as you're building that house there. Otherwise, when that storm comes, because you know it's gonna come. 
it's going to just destroy it and everything that you worked in. All the money you spent and all the time you spent in it. It's just going to get destroyed. So see, uh, we knowing the storm to come. And the storms, that's, all, that's already here. Little storms as far as uh, different strongholds. Right? As the scriptures speak upon. Maybe false doctrines. A woman that you can't handle. You know? Um, different temptations, man. Different temptations, trials, and tribulations. Leading up into uh, Jacob's trouble. The great temptation that cometh upon the whole earth. To try them. This is, you know, what we involved in, man. Get, getting ready. So, going back to the beloved apostles. Lesson. You can't say you wasn't warned. You can't say you wasn't warned. And what you did with your time. That's on you. If you, were, if you wasn't getting prepared. And that goes for myself as well. It goes for myself first and foremost. So, I'm the one saying it. So if you wasn't getting prepared within this time, you wasn't getting ready, you wasn't building a foundation, you wasn't looking to grow with your how about your shy. Like it says in Luke uh, 21 and 36, watch and pray, that you may be accounted worthy. You wasn't doing what you gotta do to be accounted worthy, then that's on you, man. But you know, starting with the apostle and the elders of Great Millstone, we even telling you what this truth. Is about what you were getting involved in. What's the uh, other scripture, man? Um, on how, uh, uh, um, who, who, who doesn't sit down and count up the cost to see if he could finish it or not? So we've been telling you sit down and count the cost. <laughs> yeah, man. I remember I told uh, one person. What this truth entails. Right? After a season of him, you know, knowing what it is, he was like, what? And hey, pretty much, I guess he couldn't be, I guess he wasn't willing, you know, to go that far, which is a good thing. You know, know your limits. Right? But some people, man, they get all involved and then when I, when they catch that hell, I saw the title floating around GMS ruined my life No you should have knew What you was involved in man We have been telling you how, how far could you get in Without knowing What you were involved in man Right so anyway Let me get the book of James I was just I was just Meditating on the scripture too James the first chapter Start verse 2 Get to the point It says my brethren Count it all joy When you fall Into divers temptations knowing this that the trying of your faith work in patience but let patience have her perfect work that ye may be perfect and entire wanting nothing and right now immediately I think of uh, Job the I think of Job Job fell into diverse temptations and he was ultimately being tempted to what? To to uh, turn his back against Yahweh Bashem Al Shai. Because even when you look up uh, tempt, temptation in the Bible dictionary, it means um, pretty much, uh, I looked it up, but I'll roughly paraphrase it at this point, to, uh, to test to see if you're going to be faithful or unfaithful according to um, the moral decree roughly paraphrasing so that's what temptation is to be tested to see if you're going to be faithful or unfaithful to the moral decrees man which is what this faith to our power Yahweh Bashem Ashad so as Job was being tempted or tested he remained patient throughout that whole testing period and what he was found faithful and patience was working her perfect work showing that that this guy is gold right just as being put in a in a, in a gold in a, in a uh, to try the fiery trial which is to try them 
as you, yo, I want to test it to see if it's real gold. Well, now they got, well, no, yeah, yeah. You got to sit there and wait patiently as the goldsmith runs it through the, uh, through the different tests. Then they'll take it out. And what they said in that one lesson, they'll look at it. And if you can see his reflection clearly, he knows, all right, this is a uh, real gold. You got to sit there and, and let patients have a perfect work. So you sit in there, you waiting just for that gold to be tried, right? May, may do a little small talk, whatever. You may wait in your car. And then he'll come out, oh, yeah, this is real gold. And you had to have patience, let her work her perfect work to, so that the time could tell that this is real gold. See, so the, the fiery the fiery furnace is what? Um, that temptation period. So going back, it says, my brother encountered all joy when you fall into diverse temptations because now we have a chance to prove to Yahweh Bashem Shai that we are really about this, man. It's a battle, man. And we have a we have a chance to get that dub, get that W in the eyes of the Lord. You know, I, I was on the wrestling team, and you want to get that W for the team, man. Yo, wrestling is literally, it's a single sport. It's a single sport. You're on that map by yourself, but overall, it's still a team sport because each person has to win. Like, say you got, like, uh, 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 um, so you got 12 people wrestling Then 6 and 6 Tie You tie but um, I forget how the damn uh, Rules work But Let's just say um, if, if you get a tie like that But uh, let's say 8 people Have to win And 8, eight of your people have to win ultimately man Or 7 and 5 Yeah Seven of your people would have to win. And the five that took the L took the L, but the other seven would have to win for you to win overall as a team. So anyway, the point is, this is like a team thing, man. And we want to win for the coach, which is your how about my shot. And you only could win if what? If you win a battle. That's how you really test to see if you if you are a, a, a good money or not, man. So when we get tempted of Yahweh Bashma Shai, I mean, not of Yahweh Bashma Shai, it's lucky. When we get tempted of the spiritual demon Satan, the tempter, that's a chance to prove ourselves because the scriptures say that. Second Corinthians, the 13th chapter. All right, prove your own selves. No, you're not your own self. So this is a chance. When we, when we get hit with temptation, that's a chance to prove. That we really are about Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man. And remember, like the scriptures say that the Lord is a man of war. So he wants to see us in these battles and see what we're going to do. And we want to please our father, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man. Hey, look at, uh, look at uh, 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 the situation with King David. And Saul. I mean, King David defeated Goliath not for Saul's sake. But nonetheless, it pleased the king because he really did it for Yahweh Bashem Ashar's sake. Right? But the point is that the king is pleased when you win those wars. So, how much more with Yahweh Bashem Ashar? So, that's why, you know, we can count it joy when we uh, get put into these situations. It's a chance to prove ourselves to Yahweh Bashem Ashar. And that's a chance to please the Lord because go, once again, when you look up the definition of uh, uh, temptation, another definition that pops up is um, to to uh, uh, either render to either it comes up when you look up the Bible definition of temptation, or it might be the regular definition of temptation, Salakia. But anyway, what comes up is to either render a reward or a punishment. So we're here. We here we are at a chance, getting a chance. To render, to be getting rendered a reward. So hell yeah, you know, count it joy, man. You know, so you know, going back to the uh, 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 the point, we start off with the apostle and others of great millstone. We put all this into perspective, man, and you should be uh, uh, happy. To sacrifice for Yahweh Shai, man. 
but that's why you gotta get gotta get rooted so that when this thing do, when these things do go down it's not strange thinking not strange concerning the fiery trial which is to try you we already know what time it is okay yeah you may want your, your family the family to be saved things like this and that but you already know if they take that ammo to the TV, you're done. You gotta, you gotta have that in your mind too. They may not be safe. See, you gotta have that prepared in your mind too. So, just want to have my own spiritual two cents, and I, I'm gonna get right back into that that lesson. You know, by the Apostle Ariamla, man. So, low on this edifying. With that, I'm gonna say shalom.